for fuck's sake. No, just doing the video now, lover. What a fucking balls up that were, eh? Hey, um, don't know really, don't know what to say. After a, a hundred day layoff or whatever it is, um, I suppose teams are finding the way back into the league, aren't they? Um, I suppose they're finding the fitness and all that kind of things. Uh, you know, I mean, it must be hard for these blokes who are professionals who are on hundreds of thousands of pounds a week or whatever they're on to uh, remember what to do. I've made notes. Right. Uh, there was a lad at work snodding. Right, here we go. Oh, I hope it's a draw in a way because of Pearson. Fuck Pearson, right? Whatever he did, yeah, fair enough, right? But I don't want none of this sentimental shit in the game. Leicester are out for Champions League football. I don't want none of that. I don't, with all due respect to Watford fans, I don't care, right? It's about your team. I don't want none of this, oh, he used to play for us, he used to manage us. No. I wanted three points today, and that was it. Uh... I was good. I was happy to see Justin come in. Um, he's all right. He's a steady little player, and I think he's one for the future. Um, and it showed you in the first bit when there was uh, he, he won that tackle. He he he, um, he tackled. Uh, he, I can't fucking remember. The game's only been on for a few minutes. I've got it here somewhere in my mind. Anyway, um, but it, you know he, he's looking good. He's looking steady. He. he, he um, there was one bit where Justin screwed up and Evans came in to sweep up the mess. And I like to see it. I just hope Justin uh, carries on trying things, doing things, not being afraid, not being tied up and that. Um, but the game was a bit uh, scrappy, to be fair. I think Leicester played quite well in the first 15 to 25 minutes. Uh, they knew, you know, they were, they were, I think Watford were just sitting back. They were defending deep. They were looking like they just didn't want to concede a goal in the first... Uh, 20 minutes, 25 minutes, and which is understandable because when all said and done, Watford are down the bottom, you know, and um, they are scrapping for their lives. And uh, but so you, you set up to defend well and you know, just hope that nothing goes wrong. Excuse me, um, Chile were breaking down. I've just made notes because to tell you the truth, I lost a bit of interest in the game because I was all set for it to be really entertaining and all that kind of thing, um, and it would. Yeah. It just seemed to lack something. It just seemed to be first game of the season, which in, in one way it is, isn't it? Um, Chile broke down the left-hand side, but Dawson clears. I don't know why I broke that, because I can't fucking remember it. I think uh, I was just surprised that Chilwell actually um, did something. Uh, obviously, I will be talking about Chilwell towards the end of this video. Uh, Barnes, I thought he were lacklustre. It seems to be the case where Barnes, he's, he's been playing really well. Uh, then before the lockdowns kicked in, and he just didn't seem at the races today. In fact, he may as well have gone to the races because he had a shot, but not really nothing else. I can't honestly think of anything that he really did that brought anything positive to Leicester's game apart from going off. You know, it's... it's I don't want to be critical of the lads, but when all said and done, I'm doing this because I, feel, I say how I feel. Um, there was a nice little break, uh, the ball got pumped over to Ovarde and uh, he took it on the inside and had a shot just wide, well I say just wide, a good social distancing uh, wide, weren't it, you know what I mean? Um, but even so, you, you, they weren't seem to be getting the ball to Vardy, it seems to be that they put Vardy up front and then it's just like everybody get to him when you can. But the thing is, the defenders have got two on him all the while. So what the fuck is he supposed to do? Unless he's built like that bloke who plays for... Wall hey, who, how many of you have forgot names of players? I can't. I couldn't remember Ian Acho's name. I couldn't remember it. I couldn't, what the, who's the lad who come from Man City? Who's been useless, but now... I couldn't remember it. I've gone. It's absolutely ridiculous. Um, so, even so... Um, it, it just I just can't be... Yeah, what Vardy should be like that... The uh, the black lad who plays up front for Wolves. Trora, uh, Tra, Tra, I can't remember his fucking name. Anyway, he's got to be built like him and the speed of him. And Vardy isn't that. Vardy needs 
to be a player up there to separate the defence, to give him that bit of space to turn and do whatever he does. And when all said and done, Vardy is, oh, how old is Vardy? 30-ish, 31-ish. He, he can't keep doing that forever. He needs support. Um, there was uh, one bit where Sarah, is what his name is, on um, for Watford, he went down like a sack of shit. It's just bait against Soyuncu. It's just basically fucking cheating. It is, to go down that easy, you wouldn't go down that easy outside of the box. And why do it inside the box? And it's the same with Madison. Madison's the same. You've only got to touch his hairband and he's down. And I'm fucking fed up with it. Stand up, get the ball, win it, use your strength, do your job. Do your fucking job of not going down. Because what you're doing is, you're going down and then they are defending. And they're getting back. And they're restricting us from doing it. Where if you actually stayed on your feet, you might actually spread the ball around and create space. Because they're chasing back. They're all over the place. I don't understand why the need is to win a free kick. It's like Grealish. Apparently he's the most fouled person in the Premier League. And there's a reason why Villa are at the bottom of the league. Because he keeps going down like he's rolling around like he's been JFK'd. And then defend, teams can defend. They get organised. They're back. They're sorted. So fucking what? I don't understand. I don't honestly understand the, the point of winning a free kick. I mean, they won a, Leicester won a free kick on the edge of the box. Madison just twatted it into the wall. What's the fucking point? Uh, 22 minutes. We had a drinks break. I could understand it in a way. Uh... You know, them players were obviously running around after 20 minutes. They needed a drink. It ain't that fucking hot. Is it? Is it that hot that they need to stop after 20 minutes for a drink? Are they really that, are they really that not um, hydrated where they need to have a fucking drink after 22 minutes? We're not playing in Saudi yet for the World Cup. Or we're not playing in Spain, you know, or somewhere on the equator. They're playing in Watford. Watford. Have you seen, would they have done that if it had been raining? Because I don't know. I don't know. Um, anyway, where am I? I don't know what I've done. Do, do you know what? I just absolutely lost interest in it as such. Um, it was... I, I, I don't know if it was because there was no crowd, I don't know if it was because, I mean I weren't even there, um, I don't know whether it's because we've had such a long layoff that I couldn't get going into it, uh, it did actually feel like a pre-season friendly, um, but here we go, uh, Dracoria, Dracore had a shot, well that was well wide, I can't remember how that come about, uh, and Diddy, he screwed up and uh, Dracore shot, but you know that was a classic uh, Schmeichel save, weren't it, he just come out and he, you know, Brilliant, and uh, it's just when you've got him coming out and shutting the area down like he does. I don't know whether you've got to compose yourself and try and slot it in, or if you just twat it or what, but he's there, isn't he? Um, Tillemans, he were on, he got booked, didn't he, in the 40th minute for I don't know what he did to be fair that warranted a booking. I just it, it, once again, players going down over nothing. I'm fed up with it. It's I mean, you know, it's like we've had uh, a few months off. And they're still just doing what they're doing. You know, it's unbelievable. Uh, there was a well-worked free kick from Watford. Oh, yeah, it well, wasn't it? It went over. It went over and... Um, oh, Troy Dean, he uh, edited it down. And Leicester defenders just like... He edited it down. And you could see the Watford players making the move. They were coming through the defence. Because he'd edited it down. And the Leicester players were like, oh, well, that's going straight through to keeper's ball. But no, the Watford player went through and it nearly worked off for him. Um, I thought a few times Chilwell were done for pace at the back. I honestly, all right, that's the goal. He scored a great goal. But he, I, don't, I just don't think he's got any pace. I honestly can't see how Chelsea or Man City, right, will have to pay. They will have to pay £80 million pound for him, right? They will have to pay £80 million or pretty close to it to buy him because Leicester are no longer a selling club, right? You, the big clubs can't just come in now and expect to just poach the players away from Leicester. They just won't come in and take it, right? The, 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 I think uh, Leicester's owners are something like 
the fifth or sixth richest owners of the Premier League. You know, I th I, I'm not sure, but I think they're actually richer than the the ginger ones they've got at Man United. Um, I can't even remember their names. Oh, God. Who are they? Can't remember the names. So, I don't, you know, Leicester are no longer... They're not going to be bullied into selling anybody. And I, but I just honestly can't understand why Chelsea or Man City will be willing to pay £80 million for uh, Chilwell. But I'll tell you what, if they do, I will drive him there in the transit. On the way down, Ben, we will do a food review. Right, we will do a food review if anywhere's fucking open. And uh, that'll be it. I'll drop you off and come back. What do you reckon, June? Who's that? Ben Chilwell. Who's bloody yeah, That's what a lot of people are saying at the moment. Who the bloody hell's Ben Chilwell? Um, uh, to, <laughs> in fact, I put a note here. I put a, I put a, a bit of a... I put a bit of a message to myself here. Um, I hope Madison doesn't get a job at Tesco's home delivery because he would deliver to the house three doors down. I think, I can't re actually really remember, uh, apart from the Soyeon Chu header where Dawson threw his arm up to put him off, I don't think he actually found a, a decent delivery ball uh, to a Leicester City player. Uh, I, I don't understand it. I, it's, it's just like, does my hair look nice? I've got my arm, sweatbands on, do I walk properly? Do I do that silly little flip when I do a kick of the ball? Just kick the fucking ball, man. It ain't hard to do. You know what I mean? Um, don't know. It just didn't seem to deliver anything positive. You, you listen to the BT commentators, and um, I don't. We were watching it on my tablet, and Ginge likes to listen to the commentators. I personally don't because I think sometimes they influence a, uh, what you say about the game. But they get, they're going on about how well Madison's played and what influence he's had and all that. I, I'd, I'd love you to show me where. I thought Jane Justin, uh, I thought he did well. Saw him chewing Evans at the back. They did, a, you know, they got stuck in and stuff again. Um, Vardy was making himself available, but obviously with him being on his own, you know, he may as well have been on an island in the Shetlands at some point because they couldn't, they just, you know what I mean? Um, Ginger's just used the toilet. She's done well. She's flushed it. Makes a change. Um, the second half, uh, straight off into it, uh, Brighton uh, all Brighton fucked up and once again Watford broke and another classic save from Schmeichel um, he, he saved us today I think I think he did really well um, I think his distribution was a lot better than it had been before the uh, outbreak um, so yeah I was happy with Schmeichel today uh, Troy Deeney added wide on the 50 minute mark another error from Leicester I honestly can't remember it because the it, Leicester just need to up the pace. I know it was a game back after three months and all, uh, so many months and all this kind of thing, but we need to up it. If we want Champions League football, I don't want to hear excuses. You know, we're a top four team now. You know, Man City came into it. They did all right the other night. Um, obviously, uh, Liverpool, uh, they did all right, uh, that kind of thing. It, it, you know, we, we've got to up it. You can't just... I don't know. Um, and I've made, made the note of Soyon choose free kick. Uh, he's had it. Um, you know, he, he should have had it. He, he should have hit the target at least. Uh, Dawson put his arm up, and I suppose that probably did put him off. Um, unfortunately, it didn't hit Dawson on the arm because I think if that would have done, that would have been a penalty, and I think he would have been gone. I think he honestly would have been gone. Got gone. It'd have been gone. Gone down. Get down. Um, I thought the, sub of, uh, the substitute of Gray for Barnes was outstanding. Um, Gray really came on and looked like he wanted it. Uh, he might stick his photos back on Instagram now or whatever he's done. He's out of fucking throwing the pram out, uh, the pram out of the baby. Uh, he's thrown the uh, toys out of the pram or the dummy out of the baby or whatever he's done. He's done something. Um, but he came on and he, did, he played really well. He looked like he really wanted it. Uh, it was a fine cross over to uh, Chile who basically just twatted it. Um, it was one of them goals where you did know he just caught it sweet. Um, it, it, you know, it was really good. Um, uh, oh, Chris has just sent a message on WhatsApp. Um, I thought Gray did really well. He had a shot, didn't he? And that was just wide. And But I can tell you what's going to happen now. He'll probably start Gray instead of Barnes next week. Gray will have a mare and he'll put Barnes on. They're like fucking musical chairs, them pair. I just, you know. 
Um, but overall, uh, ah, that was it, weren't it? Yeah, the 74th minute we started to play. Chilwell put the ball down. Uh, Gray crossed it in for Albright and who hit the post. Uh, it came out. Madison had a shot, which made uh, Foster save. That looked like good classic Leicester football. You know, that was like the beginning of the season kind of thing. We were doing well. Um, but um, as for the Watford goal, fuck knows what we were doing there. Could somebody tell me what we were doing? Because I haven't got a clue. Um, the ball were bouncing around. Just, you know what I mean? I honestly did not know what they were doing. The ball came in. Nobody won it. Ball bounced. Nobody reacted. Apart from Dawson, who was slinging his leg around like he was doing the okay. Uh And he... Put his right foot in and the ball went in. Um, so, yeah, can't believe that. It disappointing, really. Or was it disappointing? Was it, during the game, I weren't expecting to get a draw. Um, I was, at, you know... Don't know. It just... It's a kick in the nuts, isn't it, sometimes, folks? Uh, but overall... Um, Thornton did he made a few mistakes, which were unlike him. He was fouling where he shouldn't have to foul. Um, gave the ball away a few times and sometimes you just need him to step up and you know he does the job for Leicester um, but you know like I said it's the first game of the season uh, as such you know the restart project restart the restart the reboot the out control alt delete um, yeah but um, perhaps, they need to unplug it as well. perhaps they do need to unplug it and get it started June that's a good that's a good point there um, I think the Jets just need to up the pace for the next games. Hopefully, they'll start finding a bit more fitness uh, and they'll start playing a bit better. Perhaps Watford was a good game to start against, really, because although Watford did trouble us, they didn't really, you know, cause too much trouble. Schmeichs, uh, he had a few good saves in that. Um, but, yeah, I think we've just got to up it. And hopefully so, uh, we will up it. But I would just like to point out, folks, there were some footballers out there with nice haircuts. They weren't cut by the fucking wives. Laters. <laughs>